Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about should Athletes Unlimited have a women's soccer professional team. I think that Athletes Unlimited should bring a soccer team to Athletes Unlimited to have where future college women's soccer players and even professional soccer players that are playing in the NWSL have more of opportunities and more options open to playing in the U.S. as Athletes Unlimited is featured in the U.S. I think that players are able to be represented and will help Athletes Unlimited soccer come up if you have your popular soccer players that are playing in the NWSL and even on the U.S. Women's National Team help represent Athletes Unlimited and bring that perspective to women's soccer and what women's soccer stands for. So for example, popular s players from the NWSL, women's soccer, the U.S. Women's National Team, the WPSL, which is the Women's Premier Soccer League, and the WPS, which is the Women's Professional Soccer, all of those leagues, I think you should combine and have where players from each league, the NWSL, the Women's National, the WPSL, and the WPS, all are able to play on Athletes Unlimited and have the opportunity to help grow the game of women's soccer. I think that it would be pretty cool to have different players from different leagues represent Athletes Unlimited, so not just having, let's say, strictly NWSL players and a mixture of the U.S. Women's National Team, but also having those teams, those leagues, like how I said, the WPSL, which is the Women's Soccer Premier League, and the Women's Professional Soccer. Having all of them mixed together into Athletes Unlimited and breaking up into t different teams and switching players each week, like how Athletes Unlimited does, how they switch players each week to play with new players. I think that some players that obviously can go to Athletes Unlimited, that will be great candidates for Athletes Unlimited to help grow the game, is Casey Murphy, Alex Morgan, Gina Lewandowski, Kaylee Kurtz, Beth, Beth England, Ellen White, Elena, Taylor, Taylor Alley, North Carolina Courage soccer player Deb, Emily Fox, Carly Lloyd, Trinity Rodriguez, Kristen Mew, Emily Fox, Aiden Murf Mercer, Jennifer Ko Kojo, Julianne Ashley, Bethany Baker, Emily Boy, Rachel Day, Kristen Dunn, Bella Bright, Brian, and Taylor Ali Alheim. I think those having different players, like obviously as I mentioned, there are some popular players such as Casey Murphy, Alex Morgan, Carly Lloyd, Emily Fox, and even Abig Abrato Bell. Having those players that are popular in the NWSL are good and will give that recognition, but also having players that are getting their names brought out and having the opportunities, such as having a player like Kristen Dunn, having Addison Mercer, even Emily Fox, Abigail Ben, and even having, let's say, a UNC, UNC Tar Heels soccer player come to Athletes Unlimited that is just getting their name out there. Having a, having a Georgia Bulldogs soccer player, having a UCLA soccer player coming out and playing with Athletes Unlimited that is just getting their name out there to one day obviously make it to the NWSL. And I think that with Athletes Unlimited playing with 
those top players such as Casey Murphy, Alex Morgan, Gina Lewandowski, Carly Lloyd, Kaylee Kurtz, having those players to play against that are already in the NWSL and making it and that are very good, that are very notable, having that played with those players, it can also help, you know, your players such as that Carolina commit that is about to graduate or that has graduated from Carolina that's getting her an opportunity to play in the NWSL one day. And I think that that will help, obviously, how Athletes Unlimited could be a kind of like a feeder to women's soccer and having that opportunity. Thank you for listening to Brandon Sports Talk on Should Athletes Unlimited Have a Women's Soccer Professional Team. See you in the next episode. Bye.